Because there was a survey last week that said a third of Kiwis weren't interested in the tournament. Do you think that will change as we get closer to the opening match? Absolutely, and I think it's probably changed since then. I think the, the match in the weekend uh, here, at, here at Eden Park saw a, a noticeable lift in the uh, level of excitement around the tournament and the build-up uh, in the final months. So, yeah, I think that's already changed since then. And I think, um, look, a lot of people, I don't think, have a real sense of what Rugby World Cup will be when it arrives here. And that, that'll change over the coming months. And as those teams arrive, as the 85,000 spectators from around the world arrive here in New Zealand, I think that will change. And uh, those people who, who believe they don't have an interest in it, I think will find that they do have an interest when the tournament comes around. For you, what matters most to get right with this? I think it's continuing the success of previous Rugby World Cups and also putting on an event that New Zealand can be proud of and showcases New Zealand as a, as a host of, of major events. Um, it's a huge event, probably the biggest that New Zealand has ever hosted and for us it's, uh, it's critically important that we get uh, Rugby World Cup right. We only have the chance once every four years to showcase our sport and drive the revenues from that back into the game. So it's, uh, it's something we need to get right for the sake of rugby and for the sake of New Zealand. And what skills did you get from Massey University that you're bringing to this role with the Rugby World Cup? I think it gave me a good base understanding of the industry itself and the, uh, the crossovers with the, uh, the standard business and management uh, areas of, uh, of work life. I think uh, at that time and still today there's a, there's a real balance between the sporting side of the industry and the business and management side of the industry and I think those both need to be understood uh, in studying the course. I was looking to get into the sport management area and uh, Massey was uh, leading the way in terms of that area in New Zealand at the time and I thought it was a course which, uh, which would do me uh, set, set a good base for me to, to move into the professional world of sport management. In this position uh, I joined in 2002 so one year prior to Rugby World Cup 2003. Um, from 2002 through to 2008 I was based in Dublin but spending a lot of time travelling to Australia for Rugby World Cup 2003 and to France for Rugby World Cup 2007. Uh, we decided because of the distance from Dublin to New Zealand uh, to staff up on the ground here to avoid some of the travel back and forward. So we've had staff on the ground here for the last three and a half years uh, working on this tournament. Um, after this we move on to London. Rugby World Cup 2015 is in England so we will uh, set up our office in London in January of next year. We'll go through a debrief process and a wrap-up process throughout November and December here in New Zealand and then we'll set up our office in London in uh, January 2012 and start work straight away on uh, Rugby World Cup 2015. Do you dream about Rugby World Cup? Um, I try not to. <laughs> in fact at the moment I don't get enough sleep to, to dream of too much to be honest. Um, but uh, no, I, I try not to dream of it. They're, everyone has to switch off it sometimes and I think uh, I don't think my wife would enjoy it so much if I took my job home every night. Um, any more than I have to, so uh, I try not to dream about it and try to uh, at least get some time to, to switch off at the end of the day.